What's up everyone, it's Ochiha Kuzanagi here, and we're back in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And now this episode we're gonna go head up in the Pewter City. Oh, there's a Pokeball. Oh wait, there's a... Oh no, there's not a space there to squeeze through there. Oh, I already know how to get there. We, 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 we get that later on. Wait, whoa, what's going on? So if you shake your... Wait, hold up. If you shake your Joy-Con... You just go straight to it? Okay, I didn't know that feature. Okay, I thought it was a cutscene coming up. I was just like, whoa. Oh, it's our rival. Leon. Hey, nice. I was hoping we would run into each other. So what are you up to? You know there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right Kuzunagi? You can battle against the gym leaders there, and he's seriously strong. If you want to get stronger, you definitely gotta try and take him on. Ah, jeez. Pikachu, you ready for a good battle too, huh? Who would it be? Alright then, you were making me want to cheer you guys on. To, so, to, so take these. Oh, thanks man. Give me five potions. I bought some for you with the prize money. I've been earning all them in all my battles. Beat that gym leader Kuzunagi and you can really call yourself a true trainer. Give you your best. Alright, I'll face that gym leader. But before we go to that gym leader, you know, I like to explore, you know, explore the city. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here in Pewter City. They're all bug catchers and the like, you know, just hobbyists. But Brock at Pewter City Gym isn't like that. Not one bit. Oh, so Brock is the Pewter City Gym leader. You shouldn't be careful with your money. Don't go blowing it all in one place. But it's also fun sometimes to buy a whole bunch of Pokeballs at once. It is good, but I got like, what, 63 or 65 Pokeballs right now? I'm good for buy more. Oh, no, he has a Neo Ran too. You, you want to see mines? Oh, he's just... Just treating him as a house pet. We got our Pokemon in trade, so fr Frinky and hard to handle. Pokemon that you get from trades go faster, but they won't listen to the, a weak trainer in battle. If only you had some gym battles. Hmm. Well, just don't take him out in the gym, uh, in the battle. Just keep him as a house pet. The music's so good. I miss this game. Well, not this game. I miss the... Wow. I miss the old soundtrack of the... Of the Pokemon games. Pewter City, a stone gray city. Right, let me talk to this NPC. Psst. Do you know what I'm doing? Uh, no. I'm spraying lures around to get wild Pokemon to come visit my flower beds. Oh, cool. Psst. Do you know what I'm doing? Uh, I'm gonna just say no, cause I just wanna know what you're gonna say next. I'm spraying repels around to keep wild Pokemon out of my flower bed. Okay, this one wants her. Pokemon for far bed. This one doesn't. I uh, wonder why. Yo, a Geodude! He just says, dude. <laughs> ah, it's so refreshing. Peter City stays lo lovely and cool since it lies at the base of the mountain. Cool, cool. She got some Butterfree right there. Pikachu, what's up? Oh, wait, get Pikachu. I said Pikachu. <laughs> Nidoran, what's up? <laughs> You know where I found something in the plants? Oh, we got another raspberry. Alright, let's go in this house. Oh, we got Bud Catcher. You got a better chance of catching Pokemon if you throw a Pokeball and get them in the, in the center. By, but catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. Never a sure thing. Pokemon learn a new moves as they grow, but some moves must be learned by TMs. Hmm, okay. I might get some TMs later on. Alright, what's, what's... Oh, that's the museum right there. The Pewter Museum of Science. I'll check that out later. And let's head to the to the gym. Right here. We're gonna go face Brock. Got some audience. Okay. 
this is different. Hiya, you're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell you if you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Now let's get started. The Peter City Gym only allows trainer who knows type matchups to enter. There are a few types that have an advantage against the gym leader rock type Pokemon. But for trainers who have never challenged a gym before, we have them use either a grass or a water type Pokemon. You have to show me a grass or a water type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. Why? You kidding me? Wow, I have to? Like, I just want to face them with this. Like, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident with my team right now. I can face them with my team. But I really need to get a Grass-type Pokemon? I mean, I'm going to put Bulbasaur with me, but... He, he's not going to battle. Oh, I got to go to um the Pokemon um, box. That, that's... I don't know. That To me, that's stupid. Because I like to challenge myself. With a different matchup. Okay. I got a Pokemon with me that's a grass type. Uh, I got Bulbasaur. Great, that's exactly that's the Pokemon exactly what I wanted to see. Head on in and aim to become a Pokemon champion. Okay, if I take out Bulbasaur, will he kick me out? With Cestus, with Cestus. Let me see if I put Bulbasaur back. Oh no. Okay, it works. Alright. Because I don't want to... If I have the, the advantage type of the opposing um, gym leader, with, like he says, a rock type, grass and water beats him quickly. But that's just too easy. I, I like to challenge myself with a different, uh, different type of Pokemon. Because it makes the game more more fun and more challenging. That, that's in my opinion. I just like it like that. I don't know if anybody else does the same. Oh, I want to point out the statues. Originally, everyone in the, in the originals with the statues, with the 8-bit version, everyone thought it was like a Rhydon or, or just a random statue. But originally, it's like a literal to me, it looks like a little demon um, Pokemon, and I really like how they tend to bring that statue back in full detail too with the wings. That's what I like. Just that's the one thing I just wanted to point it out. But now let's we'll get back to to the gym. I did like I do like the the terrain. Makes it more more appealing to the to the gym. All right, let's we'll just get to new. Face this um Brock's um little minions. Trainers here are a bit different from those you faced so far. Yeah, supposedly you guys are a little bit more stronger. Alright, since I Jiru. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna switch Niran. Cause you only know his pet. And flying type moves does not work well on rock type on um, Pokemon. So my Pikachu knows double kick to find type move. Alright, come back. Come on now, Pikachu. Alright, that's not that much. Alright, Pikachu. Use double kick. Be sure you use that move in the in the first round. Build your defense up, but it's too late. Pikachu is gonna end your Geodude right here and right now. Hmm. Hmm. Double kick doesn't do, do a lot of damage, but it's good though. Just for now, until we get a better fighting type move. We got a lot of experience from that. Poison Sting. All right. All right. You're quite different from the challenges I faced. 
so I know my disadvantage and advantage of the Pokemon types. Mm. I think this one will have a sand shoe. I know you have a sand shoe. Stop right there, kid. You're ten. You're ten thousand light years from facing Brock. Hey, I think I'm ready to face Brock. Lion. We. Oh, you just have Judo. And the original. There's a trainer in Brock's gym that has a Shanshu. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing. Switch. Alright, and, and plus this is another way to help out your weak Pokemons by switching to your other Pokemon so they can get more experience points. Even though you even though they, they do have the experience the share experience points on, but this is more more um more faster for me because he has more experience points than just half of it so he can get full full experience points not bad not bad now end it with double kick Pikachu damn you're out of here alright See? See what I mean? It's a, it's, it's a little faster. Level up a little bit faster like that. Alright. Before we face Barak, let me just heal up my Pokemon real quick. Where's my potions? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Now let me... Switch. I know. That's a quick way to press R. Bam. And then put Pikachu in first. Now, let's go up to Brock. So you're here. I'm Brock, Computer City Gym Leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all hard and has rock and have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all rock types. <laughs> You're going to challenge me even knowing that you will lose. That's what a trainer's honor demands. So be it. Show me your best. Alright, Brock. Let's see who wins. Let the best Pokemon trainer wins this battle. Oh! Alright, he sends out Geodude. Let's go, Pikachu. Level 11. Alright. Double kick! Bam! Mmm! Alright. He just tackle. Alright, that's not bad. You took a couple few damage. Oh yeah, and normal type moves does not work well on rock types. Only takes a little damage. So the best way to do it, like they say, grass and water, or fighting type moves, or steel moves, and sometimes, ice moves. Ice moves does work on them too. I am ground types. Take him down. Word. Now send on your Onyx. I I know you have an Onyx. Pichu's level ten. Okay. Oh, Pichu's level nine now. Mirror move. Pichu knows mirror move. That's weird. That that's new to me. Meon, Pidgey learning mirror move. That's new to me. Oh, just keep on battling. Oh wow, Onyx is mad huge. He's level twelve, so Pikachu's level ten, so. He you know, oh, Rock Throw, oh, Pikachu. Alright, Pikachu took that like nothing. Come on, Pikachu, let's just end this with Double Kick. Oh, well. Still surviving, though. Oh. Nah, Pikachu, I know you got this, come on. Bam! There we go. We took down that giant rock snake. Onyx is down. 
161 experience points, that's a lot. Now yeah, Pikachu's level 11. Niren's level 8 now. It seems I underestimated you. Oh, yes, you did. It's not bad, not bad for first gem. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge. A Boulder badge. Oh! How did I get the badge if I just slapped Pikachu's tail? That makes no sense. Like, I didn't see him giving me the badge or anything. I just slapped Pikachu's tail. There, I got the badge. <laughs> With a Boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you. Without question. Oh, and wait. Take this with you. Oh, headbutt. If you use the TM or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon to move with it uh, within it. A TM can be used as many times as you like, so it use on any Pokemon you want. Well, back in the original, after uh, when you use a TM, after you use it, it's gone. Like you have to go to a Pokemart, Pokemart, get um and and buy that item again. But I do like how now. You, you can just use it all the damn time as many times as you want. That's what I like about it. It deals damage to your opponent's Pokemon by ramming them in with a head as hard as a rock. Alright. Alright. I feel like we accomplished. Pikachu wants to be pet. Oh yeah. We did a good job, Pikachu. Alright, until next time guys, we're gonna leave out of the gym and go to the museum and see what's up in there. Oh, what's wrong Pikachu? Ah, you relax little mouse slash Pokemon. Until next time guys, Kuzunagi out. Hey fellow trainers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to leave a like. Also, if you want to see more episodes, don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to never miss an upload. I'll see you guys in the next adventure.